Hi, my name is Laurel Henry. I'm 15 and I'm the young male of Lucian. I'm Harry Chappell. I'm 18. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm the elected chair of our weekly meetings of the young mayor's team. Um, so I just wanted to start by explaining what the young mayor's team is and what we do as, like, as a team. Um, so every year in September time, we have applicants who are between age 13 and 18 that must live or be in education in Lewisham Borough in South East London. Um, the whole process is very enjoyable. Um, it's, it's challenging, but it's fun because I ran in 2014 when I was 14 years old. Didn't know too much about politics or how to campaign, but with the help of Katie and Malcolm and other young people involved in the project, it kind of brought me out of my shell and allowed me to realize what I wanted from politics. Um, so the idea of the Young Mayor's Project is that you must be a young person in the borough. Um, you are given £25,000 if you are elected. And with that money, you have to ha go to consultations and discuss with other young people in the borough what you want to do with the money. Um, you then go to the board of the Mayor of Lewisham and the councillors, and you run all those ideas by them, and they confirm whether you're able to do that or not. So when I ran, my original intentions were about kind of educating young people about life more than being in school and doing maths and science and English. It was about learning how to present yourself and speaking to people and applying for jobs and how to get experience and things like that. So it was a lot more about the realistic aspects of life than what you just learn in school. Um, you, you, you see a lot of diversity within the ideas of what you, people try and bring to the ideas of young men. Um, if Laurel just wants to speak about what she would have done, and then I'll speak a bit more. Okay. Um, so I was inspired by people who didn't have faith in me, who didn't believe in me to become the young mayor. Um, they pushed me, they pushed me hard actually to become the young mayor. Also my mum did as well. And um, so I had to attend candidate training, which happened on a Saturday. And that was where all the candidates that was running for young mayor at the time came together. And we had to make a video that would go on YouTube talking about um, some of the things that we want to um, do for Lucian and why we should become Young Mayor. And some of the things I was saying was um, that there should be first aid training in schools because a lot of people don't know the basics. Also, there needs to be more doors open for the young people and more opportunities. Um, and I also want to hold my own event where young people can showcase their talents and they can feel comfortable in the borough alongside other youth, um, the other youth, sorry. And on Fridays, I talk to primary school children about what I do, so they're still involved, as well as the older youth. Yeah. So a bit more about the programme and the way it works. Um, the way that you get elected is you campaign, you get leaflets, T-shirts and stickers provided by the council. You then take yourself out with your campaign teams and you've basically just got to present yourself how you want to be presented. You've got to convince people why they should vote for you. It's pretty much like any election. Um, and you have to be between 11 and 18 and live or be in education in the borough of Lewisham to be able to vote in the election. Um, you can also vote by postal vote. Uh, but. Overall, we get quite a good turnout. Um, there's around 20,000 young people between 11 and 18 in Lewisham, and we normally get about 10,000 that vote. So it's about 50%, which is more than some higher up elections. Um, so yeah, basically people have a first vote and a second vote, choose who they want to vote for, and then we have a ceremony to welcome the new young mayor. Um, so I've been there for four years, like I said, and. Laurel's the current elected young mayor. Yeah, um, so when running is quite challenging because obviously you have to present yourself and you have to go out there. And for me, that wasn't one of my strongest points, like speaking to people. I get very shy and nervous, um, but you have to do it if you want to win. And if you want it bad enough, you'll, you'll get it. Um, saying that I didn't win, but 
I'm glad I ran because now it's, I've been given a lot of opportunities. So I've been to um, Portugal, Sweden, France so far with the Young Mayor's team doing different international work. We've also inspired a program in Portugal um, in a town called Santa Maria de Feira. So now they have their own Young Mayor's project program. Um, and what Laura said about the YouTube videos, mine is on YouTube. I wouldn't recommend watching it, but you can if you want to. <laughs> Please don't. Um, but it's there. Um, yeah, so it, it allows young people to really be engaged in politics and to kind of have their say, because I think generally in the world, young people don't get enough of an opportunity to be able to do that. So that's really good. Um. Also, sorry, Harry. Um, when I was campaigning, I was the opposite to Harry. I was confident, like I was out there getting my name out there, what I wanted to be enforced. But when it came to the actual um, election day, I was nervous. I didn't think I was going to win at all. Like, I was sitting there covering my ears just in case my name got called. Because um, how many was it? 21? No, um, when you had to stand up if you didn't get chosen. 21, okay, so 21 candidates would stand up if they didn't get chosen, and then there was um, four left, and I was um, in the top four. So they went from fourth to first place, and then they called a fourth, and then a third, and then when they said a second, I just started crying from there, I was so overwhelmed, I just started crying, and I couldn't stop crying, and then there was a camera crew, camera crew like videoing, and they, they was like, do you have any words to say? Like, do you want to thank? And I just couldn't speak because I was crying. But it was a great experience. And I just want young people to have a voice in general. Like, because as Harry said, young people don't get heard enough. And I just think they need a voice. And they need someone like, to guide them. So. Yeah, I think with, like I, like I said, politics is like kind of an industry where people, young people don't really get too much of a say. And... We're provided with a lot of opportunities as the Young Mayor Project. Um, ev like, like Nelson said, we're kind of the young, like we're the future at the end of the day. Like there's going to be a day where, sounds bad, but none of you, like so there's going to be people that are gone. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but like we're going to be taken over. We have to have experience. We have to know what we're doing. We have to be prepared. And we're not going to get that unless we're given the responsibility that we have been given. Um, also, Laurel is our second female young mayor, so that's big achievement. <laughs> but for me personally, the aim of the Young Mayors Project is to change the way people look at politics. The fact that we have a higher turnout for the youth elections than we do for the adult elections, to me that says a lot. It says that young people are engaged, they are capable and they do have political opinions. They do have normal opinions that they are able to form based off of what they know about people and situations. So I think if we're given the responsibility, we are able to do a lot more. Yeah. Um, also, I just wanted to speak a little bit about some more of the things we've done as Young Mayors Project. So um, when we went to Strasbourg, we went to the Council of Europe and the European Council, and, and we had like tours, and we basically explained to people what we do. And as the Young Mayors team, we we do we cover quite a lot of different topics. So we will work on things such as mental health or discrimination, um, like to do with race, gender, sexuality. Um, we work in schools. We we do a lot of different things. Um, even recently, we had International Women's Day, and we helped kind of pitch together any ideas that we wanted to have at the event. Um, which again, Laurel was someone that was quite influential in that, but being a female young mayor. Um, yeah, did you, do you want to speak about that? How you it's found um, that? It's only because I didn't, was, I wasn't there for the whole thing. Mm -hmm. so. Um, yeah, so that, that was a really successful event. And, you know, like, like I say, I keep saying it, but people really do support the Young Mayors Programme. Like, and I don't think we would have had support if it wasn't something that deserved support. So that's pretty good. But it started 15 years ago originally, um, when our previous mayor, Sir Steve Bullock, came up with the idea and decided to introduce it. He is now retired, and we have a new mayor, but he plans to continue it, so hopefully we'll still be going in the future. But um, 
we've also done some intergenerational work. So there's been various events where we've worked with some older people in the uh, Lewisham community. So there was a trip where we went to Brighton and we just kind of walked around Brighton, which is somewhere in England, if anyone knows what that is. But it's quite nice. Um, and it was a really nice day. Like we went up by coach and we was all like listening to music together and having conversations. And it, it was something that you wouldn't really do if you were just out in your community. You wouldn't do it in your day-to-day -day life. So it was something that I got to do. Um, also a friend of mine, Zach, um, my best friend, he also is part of the team. He held an event last week on Friday called CreateCon. And the idea was to basically bring in industry professionals in all of the kind of creative industries. So music, makeup, dance, filming, um, things like that. And he basically got them to run workshops and young people came and they enjoyed the event. Also, we have an idea for uh, La Rose Budget, um, which we did previously as well, which is the curriculum for life, which is kind of what I was speaking about when I ran in my manifesto. I wanted there to be a chance for more people to kind of um, be able to learn things they wouldn't learn in everyday education. Uh, we've also visited the House of Lords. There we am at the back. I was a mess. Um, yeah, so here's the link to the candidate pack. Um, as I said, you have to be 13 to 17 years old or, and you have to live or go to school in Lewisham. Um, and the actual application process is quite, quite complicated. Um, you have to get 50 signatures of like classmates or people around you that support what you're doing. You have to get your parent to sign it, your head teacher to sign it, which was difficult for some people because the head teachers didn't want the coming out of school, but it was for a good cause, so you know. Um, and also you have to kind of write a brief statement about what you would actually do if you was elected as young mayor. Then there's candidate training day at our town hall, which when I first went in, <laughs> I was shy, but I got to know some people and I don't know, like I worked on my confidence and I don't know, I learned a lot from that. Um, we had a photo taken Mine's embarrassing. Um, yeah, and you also get to like meet the previous young mayors. So in September time, when we have a new wave of candidates, they're going to get to meet Laurel, and Laurel's going to be able to kind of inspire them and explain why she ran and give them any helps, help or tips or anything like that. Um, then campaign team is quite crucial because it's a lot of work to communicate with 20,000 young people in the borough. Um, so you kind of have to have a team of people willing to help you. Do you want to speak about your campaign team? Yeah, um, my campaign team was my mum and about five of my other friends. So I would give them about 10 flyers each and where they live, I'll tell them to stick it on the wall, stick it on the bus stops, give it out, give it to parents as well to give to their children. And I had T-shirts, I had custom-made T-shirts that said vote for Laurel. And I'd be walking around the Lucian area. So I live in Deptford and that's in the Lucian borough. Um, Catford also and Lucian itself. Just walking around, handing out flyers. Oh, can you vote for me because I want to make a change. I want you guys to have a voice. And then some people would... Um, throw my flyers on the floor and I'll be like okay but I'll get back up and I'll go somewhere else to hand out my flyers and um, what else did I do? Social media was a big thing for me um, I'd post it on social media everywhere Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram, Snapchat so it can go around so everybody can see it not just my friends but their friends and their friends and their friends so yeah Um, yeah, so we have the budget of £25,000, as I said, and um, we have to consult with a lot of different young people and with the politicians and, you know, like to make sure that it's verified and that it's actually something we can do. So the way that we develop those proposals is we have discussions at our meetings um, every week, which we have on a Monday. Um, and we kind of decide what the brief outline is that we want to do. And then we kind of break it down into how we could do that. And 
you know, how much of the budget would be spent on each thing and if we can make any adjustments to make it more, uh, like, work better, I guess. Um, we also go into schools and youth clubs and speak to the young people there and see what they want. So not only are you kind of having a voice as an elected young person, but you're allowing other people to give you their voice and you get to speak for them. Um, so it's not like we're representing them by ourselves. We're actually getting their opinions and we're bringing in what they want in the borough. And a lot of the time, um, the things that we put in our consultations are things that have actually been inspired by other young people. Uh, we have a lot of feedback, so we discuss ideas. So once it's kind of published a little bit, we will then discuss as a group what we think could do with improvements, and then it's made into the final proposal, and then we present it to the mayor and cabinet. Yeah, this is just some more of what we've done. Um, so we have a young people's small fund input, um, which basically was about £10,000 of the budget was set aside. And it was kind of like a chance for young people to be kind of develop their entrepreneurial skills. So they will come and they will develop an idea to us and we then select who deserved the money and they then run projects with that money. So in a way, it's kind of putting that money back into the community and allowing them to decide what it's spent on and actually allowing them to run the event themselves. Uh, we've previously had a music and film studio. Uh, we've helped people set up their own businesses, set up talent shows, work experience projects, blah, blah, blah. That is the funding port. Then the curriculum for life, as I said before, about giving people a chance to kind of learn about everyday things. Yeah, so thank you for the opportunity, but if you have any questions, you can speak to me, Laurel, Katie, or Malcolm. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. and. Uh, there will be time uh, after the last presenter to ask questions to the Lewisham people. And I'm, I'd say I'm really impressed by the turnout in the voting for the young major. It's quite a lot of people. I can't even imagine gathering 10,000 of kids in Sweden going voting for it. But I'm really happy to hear about it. And I really hope we also can spread that experience uh, further through Sweden. <laughs>